Hey guys. I uh here it is uh the 4th of December. We've had a foot of snow, our first blizzard. And it's all gone. But the garden is still growing. I thought it was kind of kind of odd. I figured I'd take you take you through and show you what else is still growing here. Uh, the parsnips or the parsley parsley I planted from seed the newest addition it's spread all the way out through here I had it in a little 18 inch square originally and it's uh, that's what you see these big clumps are all parsnip or parsley I always mix those up and uh, I'm pretty certain most of these our turnips, quit hogging the camera. They're all over, but I had that one huge turnip plant, if you remember the garden vid from earlier this year, right here in this whole area, this turnips. I'm still not sure what this is. It came up mid-season and formed a rosette but some kind of plant could be a flower I don't know this cat won't leave you alone it follows me everywhere it jumps on you everything oh now I think this might be dill I usually see dill come up late like this, but it's just surprising to see so much other stuff growing. Radishes. Oops, sorry about that. Just all over. And that leads right into the borage. And, not sure what this is. Get out of here. Almost looks like a tomato leaf the cotyledon leaves the seed leaves of a tomato oh no oh, it might be parsnips there's some more right there and I see the get out of there ain't in the butt <laughs> first little true leaf right there yeah that's parsnips I know I had some lettuce that self sows but this here this is in between the rows this is where I was walking all summer and all through the season but it's full of uh, little veggies there's a uh, some sort of turnip I think that's that seven top turnip maybe I'm not sure I have so many different kinds of turnips and radishes and other plants in the mustard family. All the uh, salsify or goat's beard. It's still there. I could actually harvest those right now. The ground's still not frozen. I could dig those up and eat them. All oh, that borage though. I mean, I started out with just a few plants right in here that I started from seed in a container indoors and now it stretches well actually they cover the whole entire 10 by 20 foot garden but they're just solidly packed all the way down through here all the way in there most of that is borage on up in here I just went through at the end of the season and I uh, mulched with the lawnmower, just mulched it, mowed everything down. Just like you saw it in the video, I had sunflowers and corn and everything in there and mowed it all down, turned it into mulch. There's a lot more of that borage and more radishes. These are probably icicle radishes here because this is kind of the area they tend to grow in. 
This came up on its own in my garden. This is a, a wild medicinal plant in the mint family called, uh, I believe they call it self heal or heal all. Whoops, got my finger sticking in the camera. Self heal or heal all. It grows up, it's not very tall. It gets a little, I think it's a purple spike on top of flowers. It doesn't smell like mint, but it's supposed to be a real good uh, medicinal plant. But it just came up on its own. And the uh, main reason I mulched this, though, is because, um, if you remember a couple years back, I had the, uh, sorry for the shakiness there. Uh, let me turn here. If you remember a couple years back when I first started growing these herbs, the, um, the oregano got some little brown or black spots all over it and I thought it was some kind of mold but I found out it turns out it's uh, what they call uh, I think it was the four lined plant bug a really generic name but that's the name of the bug and uh, it makes those spots on there from where it sucks the juice out of the plant and it, it's kind of specific to mint plants and especially oregano and come out here sure enough that's the bug I had there's a uh, there's a new type of potato beetle that I've never heard of before but it's kind of skinny and it has stripes and it looks just like that four line plant bug uh, may be the same thing but this one is specific to mints and uh, they say if you uh, they only breed once a season so once the season's over if you uh, mow everything down to the ground, it uh, prevents them from having a place to overwinter. So the next season, they should be gone, uh, theoretically. So we'll see. Not sure if I'm gonna garden here next year. I may just let this rest uh, for a year and see what grows up on its own. Uh, one thing I'm curious about, though, with this being uh, this fall was almost like another spring and I even though it's with the wild plants we kind of had like a second spring where everything started growing up again and with this garden plants since I have a lot of stuff that comes up on its own every year and it all seems to have sprouted almost a hundred percent by the looks of it um, once it does freeze are these little bitty seedlings gonna die and then next year when spring does come Will nothing come up or what? Um, kind of curious to find out. I mean, I'll find out next spring, but if you guys have thoughts on that, I'd like to hear it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just uh, didn't do a lot of garden videos, but I did do gardening. But uh, I always like to do kind of an end of season update or whatever, finale. And uh, I thought this would be a good one because it's strange that. You know, we just got through having a foot of snow, and we've had well below freezing temps on and off for a while now, yet the garden is uh, still growing, and the ground, even though it has froze once already, it's thawed out again, and uh, never really froze that much to begin with, so everything's still growing. Quit rambling on, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.